What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're creating a sketch illustration of Jerry Mouse from Tom and Jerry. For today's lesson, we'll need a sketch pad and something to draw with. I'm using this 0.7 millimeter mechanical pencil with a 2B graphite stick. Now, if you want more details on our art supplies, I'll leave a list with links in the description below. Now, you want to begin our lesson by blocking out the basic shapes before we get into the details. Let's start by adding a guideline coming down the center of our page. We're going to start from the very top in the middle. We're just going to lightly work our way down towards the bottom using these short lines. Now, let's move back to the center and draw another line going across from left to right. So, we'll start with the left side and then just stretch that out towards the right. Now I want to use these two lines to help us create a circle in the center of the page to define the size of the head. From that center point, let's move up. It's going to mark off the top of that circle right about here. And then we want to measure that distance from the center down towards the bottom and do the same thing. Let's repeat that across this horizontal line. So measuring the distance from the center over towards the left and then the right side. Now I want to connect the center point of each mark with a curve to create our circle. Let's start with the top left. Now the circle doesn't have to be perfect. We just want to capture the right size and placement in the center of our page. And we can always go back and just smooth this out. Now with this portrait, we're going to turn the head over towards the right side. So we're going to take that center seam and bend it over towards the right. So we'll connect the top and bottom of this line over towards the right, going out. I'm going to bring that down about halfway along this side and back in towards the middle. Let's start adding the basic facial features. From this point, we're going to sketch out a small oval for the nose, going all the way around and back up. Now, in behind the nose, we're going to add the muzzle. Let's start from the top. We're going to draw a larger oval, going around towards the left, towards the center. Come around and just tuck that up underneath the nose. Let's do the same thing on the right. We're just going to tuck this in, coming down, out towards the side of our circle, and back in. Let's pull the cheek on top of the muzzle. We're going to start along this line, going out, come in, round out the cheek, and then pull that back out towards the side. And we'll tuck the mouth in underneath. Let's start up here, curve this down towards the bottom of our circle, bend this up. Now at the top, we're just going to bend that out underneath on the right side. Along the bottom left, let's add a curve for the tongue. Now I want to trace the mouth along the bottom, coming down and then up. Now we're going to go back up to the top and draw in the eyes. Starting on top of the cheek, we want to draw an oval going up in an angle. So let's go up towards the top, round this out, and then come down on top of the muzzle. Let's go over towards the right side on top of the nose, going up towards that center seam. And we want to bring that up towards the same height, come around the side and then back in. Let's pull the pupils towards the bottom left. We're going to draw a smaller oval. Just tuck that in behind the cheeks. Now over on the right side, we're going to bump out the cheek, starting beside the eye. We're going to go out around the muzzle, then it's around, and we'll just tuck that in behind the lower lip. Now we're going to place that large ear on top of the head on the left. So on the left side of our circle, we're going to step down. We're going to draw an oval going up and out. We're going to come down in the angle and then bend that back in towards the side of the head. Now let's tuck the right ear in behind. From the top of our circle in the middle, we're going to go up, round up the ear, and then bring that back down. Now with our rough sketch in place, let's go back and clean this up by erasing some of these guidelines. Now we're going to use this rough sketch as a guide to help us add some more detail and refine the shape. And I'd like to start with the nose. Let's start by darkening up the top edge, going around. And we want to bring this in towards a point along the bottom. So we'll come in along the side. And then on the left, we're just going to bend that down towards the bottom point and go up towards the right. Along the top of the nose, we're going to sketch out an oval for a highlight. And we'll darken up the outside of the nose going around that highlight. Now from the top of the nose, we're going to work our way across the top of the muzzle, curving this across towards the cheek. Now here, we're just using some thick and thin lines. So we're just adding some weight around the shadow areas and just pulling this down towards the bottom. We'll work our way around the cheeks, going up and then out underneath the eye. 
and you see that I'm going a little bit thicker along the inside just to give it a bit more weight. Coming down, I'm just gonna taper out towards the point. Going up, I'm just gonna bend that down. Going thicker along the bottom, along the outside, and just tapering that up towards the inside. And then just tucking the right side underneath, going around. Now we're gonna work our way down towards the bottom of the mouth. Again, going a little bit heavier, where sort of where the shadow areas would sit. And pulling that up and out. Now I want to add some shape to the tongue. So we're going to add that fold in the center. So following that guide, coming down, step that up, and fold this across. Let's darken up the inside of the mouth. Now along the top of each eye, we're gonna add a small circle for a highlight. And it'll darken up the bottom of the eyes. Let's add some lashes across the top of the eye, bending this out and up. And we're just gonna add two above each eye. It's okay if we cross the edge of the head. And then I'm going to layer the eyebrow in behind. Just curving around the eye along the top. And I'm going to move out to the side. Add a little bit more shape to the head. Now we're going to put some emphasis across the bottom. So again, going a little bit darker and thicker with those lines. And from the cheek, doing the same thing. trim across the mouth on either side. Now we're going to refine the shape of the ear starting along the bottom and work our way up toward the top. I'm just going to overlap the edge of the head along the top. Now along the top of the head, we're going to add some hair. Starting from the inside of the ear, I'm just going to bend this up to add a point. Come back down and in towards the head. Let's add one more. I'm just going to bend this across and back in. I'm just bumping out the forehead just around the eye. And then finally, we're just going to layer the right ear in behind. Let's go back and just clean up our drawing one final time before we add in our shadows. Now in this last step, I'm going to use the side edge of my pencil to add some shading inside the ear. So start on the left side, just working our way across. And then go in the opposite direction just to smooth this out. Now we're just going to push some of the shadows over towards the bottom right. So we'll start with the back ear. 
starting off dark along the bottom and then just fading that up towards the highlight. Also placing some of that shadow just underneath the chin and the bottom of the muzzle. Now we're going to add two whiskers on either side. And once we're done, we'll be sure to sign our artwork. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Jerry Mouse from Tom and Jerry. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. And if you want more details on the art supplies I used, I'll leave a list with links in the description below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.